Hello, all my snowflakes! Okay, I am so sorry I haven't posted a video in God knows how long. It's, life's been crazy lately. But I do have a full list of videos that I want to film. And this first one, I am so excited. This was a kind of last minute decision for me. I wasn't going to get these, and I talked myself out of them because of the price tag. And then I talked myself back into them for a late Christmas present. So, I am so excited. I actually got the 10th Anniversary Frozen Limited Edition dolls from Shop Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, whatever. And I had to have them shipped from Disney World because by the time I figured out I wanted them, Shop Disney had sold out and I hadn't seen any at Disneyland. But I saw a guy who saw them at Disney World, so it's like, gimme. <laughs> okay, so. What I'm going to do first is show you guys one of my D23 dolls for size comparison. These Shop Disney dolls are huge. I was not expecting this when I pulled them out of the box. And disclaimer, I don't have the box right now. It's actually outside in my car because I tried to sneak these in the house past my mom and that didn't work because my dad has a big mouth. So, the box, the certificate of authenticity, they are out in the car. So I'm not quite sure what number my girls are. I'll have to check and put it in the video up here in post. Or in the description, I don't know. Depends when I can find it. But here is my D23 Elsa concept art doll for comparison. She's still gorgeous. I had her on my nightstand, but now she's getting replaced. Or she and Anna are getting replaced with the new girls. And then I'm going to show Anna first and leave my girl for last. Look at the size difference. Like, she is huge. Okay. Bye-bye, Elsa. Now, she is so darling. I unboxed her and Elsa at work because I was really impatient. So, sorry. You don't get the joy of watching me open the box, but that's okay. Okay, first off, I'm going to start from top of her head and go down. The little mini braids all through her pigtails me. That is so adorable. She doesn't have the white streak in her hair, which I love that. And her hair is a little crazy, but she came from Florida, so I'll, I'll let it go. That was not on purpose. <laughs> So, and she and Elsa both have the Frozen 2 face molds and those rooted eyelashes that are so gorgeous. And then her costume. This cape is so nice and soft and I love all the, it's not embroidery, but all the beading all the way down. So pretty. And I guess there is some embroidery. Sparkly. And then the inside of the cape is like a really pretty... Burgundy. I love it. And she does have the Disney brand on the back of her neck. You can't really see that. And then it looks like her cape is a button clasp, maybe? I'm not going to take it off. I'm just trying to get a good look at her because I didn't really get to it work. And I'm going to leave her braids attached to her cape. And then her bodice. Look how gorgeous that is. All that embroidery and the detailing. And oh my gosh. And then her sleeves on her dress have the gold detailing on the cuff. And then the little buttons, which I love that little extra touch. That is so cute. And her arms do bend. And you can turn them so she can be really spunky and sassy. Unfortunately, I think my D23 Anna doll had at least one pocket in her dress, I think. This one, unfortunately, doesn't, but not the end of the world. So her skirt, this is so beautiful. It's, oh, whoop. I just realized I didn't pull the paper out from under her skirt. No wonder it looks so floofy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she's got all these really pretty little rhinestones all over her skirt, and then the Arendelle flower on her 
her skirt is so pretty. And it's a little bit pleated, which I love that so much. Let me see if I can get the paper out from under her skirt. I did not realize that was there. I know I probably could leave it in there. And it would look fine, but... Oh. Let's not do that. Let's say we did. See, that just goes to show you how much of a rush I was in after work to get her home. Okay. So, that's better. And then, if I pull her skirt up, I didn't um, untie her all the way. But her knees do bend, and then she has her travel boots on, which I love those so much. I need to untie her from the stand. And it looks like... Ooh! Her hips rotate, too, so you can turn her. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. That is so cute. And I did unattach the cape from her dress, so it's a little more flowy. And, well, it's always pretty. And then look at the detail on her face, her little freckles. I don't know if you can see those in this light. She looks so cute. Like, oh, my goodness. She is just adorable. I love her. <laughs> now the funny thing is, I had these delivered to my house, but I came home and picked them up when I was on my lunch at work, because, like I said, I didn't want my mom seeing them. So as soon as I got back to work, everybody was like, oh, what is that? So I had to... Or I didn't have to, but told them what it was and showed them off and they were trying to help me figure out what to say to my mom. That did not work, but that's okay. Can you unfasten, please? My goodness. And I just noticed in undoing the little tie downs. This stand is like a really nice metal. Uh, oh, 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 she clips into it. Oh, she's so she's nice and sturdy. I'll pull her off for a second. Okay, so she clips on like that. And it's a nice little metal stand. I love that. So she's not going anywhere. It doesn't look like she can stand up on her own, though. No, she can't. Oh, and it looks like her knees can actually bend in two different places. Because we've got... Oh, I am so sorry for the weird angles here. I want to stop it. So it can bend right here like normal, and then it, her... Shin can actually bend backwards, too, so she's got all kinds of posability. I love that. And I'm not taking all her clothes off, but I'm going to pull her little booties off for a minute. And then she does have the jointed feet, which I love that. It's so cute. And they do rotate also. So I'd say she's got a lot of points of articulation. Which is incredible. Get, wanna get your boot bag on. Oh, well. No, I was gonna say maybe that's why they don't come off. Okay. Alright. And then her bodice is a separate piece from the skirt, which I love that. And I can't tell if the vest is attached to the undershirt or not. And I'm not gonna pull it all apart to find out. Okay, let me clip her back in and then we will move to Elsa. Oop. See, that's when you know she's on tight. Okay. 
So there was Anna. And Anna, not so much, but Elsa definitely took a lot of inspiration from the Parks costume, and I love this so much. Okay, so here is Miss Snow Queen herself. She's got the giant cape, like at Disney, and I love that so much. It's so pretty. It's got all the embroidery, but it's got that iridescent look almost. I love it so much. And then her sleeves are... So stunning. Got little rhinestones all over them, and then the snowflake detailing that we've come to see at the parks. And her bodice, can we take a minute for that? No, oh, I can't move her right. Put, put your arm down. Girl, come on, work with me here. Look how stunning that is. Like, oh my goodness. And then her makeup. I don't see the purple eyeshadow, though. That's the only thing I'm kind of upset about, but that's okay. And then her hair is a little screwed up because, A, I had her in a weird angle in my room when I was trying to hide her. And then, plus, coming from Florida. And then her cape is tucked into her bodice, which I love that. And look how thick her braid is. That's so pretty. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the little mini braids like Anna does, but the snowflakes more than make up for it because it's so pretty. And this doll, I like her hair better than my D23 doll. I don't like that big swoop on the end of the braid. It, it just looks weird. Like I just like when it comes down straight and it's just gelled and it looks perfect. And then she's got the rooted eyelashes also and her Snow Queen makeup, which is so pretty. And then this is a favorite detail of mine. Her skirt, whoop, move your cape, is actually lined in purple like it is in the parks. Which I don't know why I like that look better. It just, it goes better. And then her skirt... If I can pull her cape up from it, it kind of um, flows out behind her. So when she's standing, it kind of does like that almost except with the skirt. And then can we talk about these gorgeous shoes? These are so, mm, these are so cute. Her standard ice heels, but they're holographic, almost iridescent. I love them to death. They are so cute. I was going to say I need a pair of these in my life, but I have a pair. <laughs> but, oh, they are so stunning. And then she has the Frozen 2 face mold, same as her sister, and all the points of articulation. She is so cute. Like I said, I almost didn't get the girls because I saw the price tag and it's like, there's no way. But then I kind of talked myself into it. And I am so glad I did because they are beautiful. Ooh! And, oh my, I just saw this. Her cape looks like it has an extra layer under it with all those sparkles. I thought it was just the one layer on the top with the, the snowflake embroidery. I didn't see the sparkles underneath. That is, oh, that is stunning. Oh my. Tell me that is not the most gorgeous thing you've seen in your life. Okay, the more I look at these, the more I'm happy I got them. They are so stunning. Oh, my light went out. There we go. They are so beautiful. Let me show you guys them side by side. If I can situate Elsa's cape. Come here, Anna. Oh my. Okay, so there are the girls together, and because their bodies are twistable, you can do that classic, like, back-to-back -back pose that some of the, um, some of the promo art for Frozen has them doing. I have not tried to do that yet. I probably should. Okay. But all in all, I am so unbelievably glad I bought these. And the guy who actually got them for me, which I'll link his um, 
Facebook down in the description. He got these to me so darn fast. Like, I paid him, he got them for me the same day, sent them out, boom, bam, here they are. And they are so adorable. Huh. I'm in love. <laughs> Beautiful. These are definitely going to be a very, very important part of my collection. They are so cute. I'm sorry, I can't stop staring. Okay. I'm going to go now. I have at least one new video coming up that I can think of because I got a couple upgrades to some auto cosplays that I have and then I got a new one. So I'll be doing videos on those. And I don't remember if I did a video for the braided wig that I have. I don't think I did. So we've got one cosplay video coming up, two wig videos, I think. Yeah. There's a lot coming and hopefully I won't be MIA again. I am so sorry about that. Hey, but I love all you little snowflakes. I'm gonna go. I will see you in the next video and always remember to let it go. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll see you before then probably, but see ya!